Hey guys, it's Dars or D-Pad Dars and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use any USB controller with the Wii U. So firstly, you're going to need the SD card that you use with your Wii U or just any SD card in general if you don't already use one with your Wii U. I'm going to use this um, Transcend 32GB SD card and I'm just going to plug it in to my computer. Continue without scanning, open folder to view files. And then now once you're in here, you wanna right click, new, and then click folder. And then make a folder called Wii U, right there. And then in the Wii U folder, you wanna right click, new, folder. Create a folder called apps. A-P-P-S, apps, exactly like that. And then here's where the downloaded files in the description come to play. So there are only two files in the description for you to download that you need for this. One of them is Homebrew Launcher and HID to VPad. They are two zip files and applications. HID to VPad is a Homebrew Launcher application. So that's why you need Homebrew Launcher in the first place. So once you open the Homebrew Launcher zip archive, you want to drag the homebrew launcher folder that's inside of it to this folder to where this is the apps folder once you open the hid to vpad archive there will be a wii u folder and then that's when you go back to the root of your sd card and press paste and then it will merge the wii u folder and create this new folder called controller with a bunch of different controller configurations in here and you can also make your own controller con configuration like I did with this keyboard.ini file. If you want to know how to do that, I can show you in a next video. So that's all you need to do on the computer. Onto the Wii U. So basically, um, once you're done uh, with the PC stuff, you just want to put your SD card back into your Wii U and you also want to plug in your controller that you want to use me I want to use this keyboard it's just a regular USB keyboard it has batteries it's made by on nothing special really plug that in right there so my TV's on and now I just want to turn on the Wii U and let me just change my input to the Wii U And my game pads on okay so I'm um, basically just um I'm just gonna sign in right now okay so um once you've turned it on uh, since I'm not I don't have any other controllers on right now you just want to go and open up the internet browser so that's my TV and my gamepad actually has the page that you need to go to so you don't need to copy all of this just the part before this next slash just copy loading.ovh that's the website you need to go so as you can see you're on the website there's gonna be whatever this abomination is and yeah, this is going to be the website you want to go to. So, click on this right here and make sure it's selected to the top. Then click submit. And now all you have to do is just wait. If your console freezes in the meantime, reboot it. What like the the thing just said because it can freeze from doing this. Luckily, mine didn't. And so it just loaded the homebrew menu and then on this basically just tap HID to VPAD and load now on the TV you will see a screen like this and on the gamepad you will see a screen like this now the gamepad is where we're going to be actually connecting controllers so on the gamepad 
what you want to do is if you want to map a controller to the slot where it would be recognized by the Wii U as a gamepad, then um, this is the one you click. However, before I actually map my controller, I want to turn on a Wii remote and then see it says Real Pro Controller right there. It says Real Pro Controller. So now we have one controller that works. And then now let me turn on this second Wii remote. Okay, there we go. Got that all synced up. And um, I just want to plug a nunchuck into this right here. Okay. And now we have two real pro controllers. Basically, this pro, this app will just say real pro controller for any Nintendo controller. Like any actually compatible controller that's connected to the Wii U. So, um... Now, to actually connect your USB controller, click an empty slot and simply press A. Now, it'll say to press any button, and then that's when you go back to your USB controller and press a button. You know, for me, last time it took a while before it actually responded. So, there you go. Apparently, it's connected, and you can test this by pressing buttons. So I'm gonna press a few buttons. So if I press W, it's um, up on the left stick, as you can see right there. If I press S, it is down on the left stick. There's a bunch of other controls I already mapped myself. If you wanna learn how to map, just let me know. So yeah, you can just test it out and it will show you what you're supposed to be doing. And then, once you're done connecting your controllers, yes, you can connect more than one. Press plus on the gamepad. Now it should fade black, and then it should take you back to the Wii U menu. Yeah, just like that, right there. Now once you're back here, on my keyboard, I'm just gonna press thing and look I popped up as player 3 and I am also moving my classic controller pro now and I am using my nunchuck right now that doesn't do anything but okay so yeah you can see the, the keyboard really does work cuz I am pressing and it is working so I just wanna open Super Smash Bros so that um, um, I can show you this keyboard really in action. Oh, one thing I should say is if, if you're going to do this and you're also going to use real Wii U and Wii controllers, you probably want to connect these before you connect your USB controller. Because otherwise they'd be mapped to the same player number and that's going to cause problems. So let me just press a button and boom. Now the press any button thing doesn't work with all buttons because I only have a few actually mapped to real buttons. Okay, so we are going to make, um, we're going to make the keyboard player one. You can see popped up player one and I'm going to select Mario with this and then player two is going to be my classic controller pro so with this I'm just gonna choose really Pac-Man does anyone actually main Pac-Man no offense Pac-Man mains but does anyone actually main Pac-Man alright so next we're just gonna use the nunchuck I have no idea what the hell is wrong with mine. I mean, it keeps going up for no reason. I mean, it's a pretty good alternative to, like, one of these or a pro controller, but... Alright, Mario Pac-Man... No, 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 not Peach, alright? If we're gonna choose someone, we gotta choose someone who fits along with the crew. Say hello to Sonic. So, that is player one. As you can see, right there, right there, do you see that? It detects this keyboard as a pro controller, which is what I like. It doesn't even know that it's a fake controller. 
So um, let me just press escape, ready to fight. Okay, so I'm gonna start moving with um. Okay, that's Pac-Man. Since I'm using the classic controller, let's grab Sonic. Pac-Man has some wonky ass controls. So that's all. Oh! Okay, we both died. Pac-Man's a fucking asshole, so he's gonna die. Okay, now let me show you me playing with the controller, with the keyboard. You can see right there, I am actually playing with the keyboard. Yeah, you can see, I'm actually playing with the keyboard. It's actually, it's pretty cool. I'm being Mario, and let me just attack real quick. So yeah, that was just a test battle. So if we pause... I just paused with the gamepad for some reason, even though it's not even in play. So that was connecting a USB controller in order to play. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, definitely leave a like. And I hope this helped you. So, bye. And I'm just going to keep playing with this. Oh boy, this is going to be fun.